thing, yeah. Why are there's a lake? Oh yeah, we just go straight over there. Is it all connected or something? Yeah, there's a big lake out there, so that's what it's gonna be on. Is? Uh-huh. I found it! Yeah. It's right here. Right? I bet. You can follow me on the beach. It's this. It's a lake. And the name of the lake? Lake Saint Jean. Or in the native language, the Piekwagami. Ah. That's mean the shallow lake. Where's the. Is it one like the Agami? The floating cabin? 45 minutes of paddling. <gasps> Ooh, oh, wow. That's going to be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't see the cabins from here? You cannot. Where are they? It's. That way. That way. So we'll paddle for 45 minutes that way. Yeah. Wow. Okay, this is an adventure. Oh my god. That's an adventure. <laughs> I will not be there with you to do it. Wait. So when we're there, there's everything. There's a toilet. There's a compass toilet. Here's all you need in the kitchen. Excuse me. You have one more bonne Oh. Un tournant la roulette jusqu'au bout. Là-bas, vous avez de l'eau pata dans une vache à eau telle, comme celle-ci. Les eaux usées. Il y avait un contenant à l'extérieur. Chaque jour, vous êtes ici? Euh, euh, tout l'été. Tout l'été. Oui. Donc, j'ai des autres choses. Pendant l'hiver, c'est impossible. Hein, les... En fait, l'hiver, on a un autre type d'hébergement, l'igloft. OK. C'est disposé okay. sur les glaces. Sur les glaces. Oh. Une fois sur la tête, Vous devriez être à 90 degrés avec vos bras. C'est la position ergonomique pour les épaules. La personne à l'arrière, avec ses pieds, a des pédales qui lui permettent de contrôler le gouvernail. La personne à l'avant, quant à elle, c'est un moteur. Once you are in the kayak by yourself, you have to pull yourself all the way there. We won't be able to change switch. in the water, to switch. Underwater? On the no, water. No, she's saying we won't. I think she will be able. Aujourd'hui, votre objectif se trouve dans cette baie ici. You will follow the, the orange. Okay, the coast. Follow the coast. Okay. Oh, so we want to go past the sailboat? Yeah. You should see a dam. So you will see it. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah. Keep on. Okay. Emergency number. If you have problem, here is nine one one. Okay. You know, going to the right. Steve, I figured it's here. To the right. You know, to the right. It's not right. the concept to go with boat and motors. This place, no. You gotta dig in with your hands in the water. Yep. The concept is you use your heart, go at your rhythm, feel the lake, hear the sound. Oh my god, I'm getting some of this type. Can you just take over? Yeah, I'll take over. This is fun. It's so funny. The concept is where you can just relax. Just feel the moment. Do you see the rain up there, Shames? Yeah, I do. He's a worker. Right? Follow the coast. We follow the coast until we hit that one island. La seule voie accessible, c'est par l'eau. En fait, ça ramène un peu à notre culture. Les Amérindiens ici n'utilisaient pas les routes. Pourquoi tenter de faire une route à travers la forêt quand on a un bassin hydrographique immense, un réseau qui passe de partout et qui permet de couvrir tout le territoire? À l'époque, les grandes autoroutes, c'était les rivières. Et le moyen de transport, c'était le canot. Bon, 
Um, I'm waiting for Ness. Nice time. I know, but I'm waiting for Ness. I know. That's why I want to stay with Ness. Your legs are tired? You can use your arms to steer. I know. That, and my arms hurt too. Uh, okay. So this island, it's, it's the, this one we finished here. Okay. Okay, so we have to go in the middle and it's, I don't know if the middle is there or there. Okay, All right. Look at the smooth water. And look at me dip it in. It's so cool. Water is a very cool element. Mama, you okay? I'm good. We're supposed to be close. It's supposed to be next to that like card over there. See those yellow things over there? That's the dam. So that's got to be it to the left. Going there rowing puts you in a mood, in a flow that makes you understand the cabin in a deeper way. She see it? Right over there, flashing light. Because once you are there, then I had the feeling birds were singing louder in a way. There's no houses. Actually, I just heard my tummy rumble. The person who is going there knows that he's not discovering the place, but one has a feeling that you made your way there, then you deserve to eat something and just enjoy the place. I heard it. <laughs> Looks good. Smells good. Want to play Domino's or something? It's really late now. I know, but I'm waiting for my food to cook. It's really Tomorrow. late. I want to go to sleep. Four, okay. Guys. Seven, four, five, six. All right, we're gonna start. No, 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 no. What time is it now? So it's six twenty-one. Let's just start. One, two, three, four, five. You definitely wake up the light here. Right. Yes. Hey, How many do you have? Ten. 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 Okay. All right, so we docked our boats, which I'm not sure if we did it right because we have more boats than normal. Because normally this cab is actually for two people. We showed up with five, but they sort of <laughs> made it work for us. And we had to pull out a uh, air mattress to add extra space, but it worked. I mean, there's plenty of space. Uh, it's actually fairly in well insulated. It rained. But she was off before. I like when it moves. It's, it's so plastic. Cool. When it moves, I like it because it makes me feel like I'm on a boat. I can't make it move. I'm too leisure. Oh yeah, see the ripples? It is a boat. More than a boat, it's a barge. It's moving. No, it's not moving. It's attached to that white thing. It's a buoy over there, I think, yeah. So okay. it's a floating cabin. But it's not a conventional floating cabin, if you can talk about conventional floating cabins. The frontal port is actually a very conventional little dock plus a small house. Then the rest of the structure is actually a greenhouse. So we have a two ports, a two ports barge or two barges uh, connected on with, with uh, conventional hinges. The first one is a prefab dock connected to the house barge here. Uh, actually, you can, if you take this out, 
you just can uh, can and disconnect then, it yeah. yourself manually. Yeah, you have two big hinges. And then the, the barge, the house, has outside composting bedroom, place to leave all your stuff uh, you can hang in here. A laundry line with a, for the towel. And then here's the toilet. It's a composting toilet. Once you're ready, you need to turn it. You just, one, two. It's so easy. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to turn. Yeah. It's like easier than flushing, so. So the cabin, the, the wooden okay, cabin finishes ready, in the beginning and then you have this island to cook but once you go past the wooden structure all you have on the rest of the porch we are floating here what you have is this sort of greenhouse with a transparent tarp that behaves like glass I can see those it doesn't get our poo poo <laughs> <laughs> Once you get in, that's that's the type of transparent bubble you want to be in. You know, you don't want to be in an information bubble, but you want to be in this sort of bubble. I'm just looking for it, and it's really annoying. What? what you're Another doing. piece. Yeah. Okay. Delicious oatmeal. One, one I like the fact that this little aisle here allows you to cook or, or prepare any meal very fast. The thing I like is the metal here. It's easy to clean, easy to maintain. Very heavy duty sheet of steel with this pattern that prevents any slippery behavior, especially last night we just came here and it wasn't that bright. Here, so that's that's water for drinking and washing. The, the water we use to wash dishes. Yeah. This is called gray water. In this case, it's water used with biodegradable soap. What we do is dump the gray water on a container here so it doesn't go in the in the lake and when it's all full what happens they'll empty it they'll yeah. take it away so here there is a hose oh, filter, baby. you can connect it and it, it filters the question we yeah. can tell you later because we don't i don't think you guys know what? But how they made it because it's on the water yeah they probably built it somewhere and tow it here you think it's like a boat they just pulled it here towed it like a barge Okay, man. I need to win. I need to win. I need to win. Okay. Boiling water gets all the way to the top from there, and then it uh, no! the coffee. No, no, no. Mm. Looks like coffee is smells like coffee. This is my last card game. Um, no, I have four queens. Don't in the show kit. the bad stuff. Show only the good stuff. It's nice though that there's nobody around okay. us. There's not even a path to get into no the woods. No roads. No path. <laughs> Get a different perspective from life uh, because we came here from Quebec City going very fast. You get modernity, mo modern travel, which is on a very comfortable car, going very fast on a very smooth road. And then you get somewhere, and somebody tells you, in order to get your cabin, you have to row 40 minutes. Uh, no matter if you don't have experience or whatever. Well, if, uh, if it's so raining and you guys want to go around on the kayaks. Or, or. Good. Hi, guys. It's great because you know you get on the okay, on your front yard, and what you have is kayaks and this really calm place just to go and explore a little bit. We are on a teeny bay surrounded by little islands and then you can go towards, without leaving the shore, towards other little bays. Should we, go, should we sneak up on them behind? Let's go sneak up behind them. Intruders, intruders, intruders! Hey there, we're just gonna... Intruders, intruders, intruders! Nikki, don't stand up yet, you could flop over here. It's sideways. I know, I know, just wait, just wait. Let's go to that 
hear that? I wonder if it's a duck. Oh, you can see the bird over there. Oh, yeah, a black one. Mm hmm. It's really quiet around here. I, mean, I can't remember the last time I was that sort of immersed in nature without hearing any sounds of the city or. You don't see any other house. You don't see any road. You don't even see a path. Normally, if you go out to a cabin, there's a little path going into the woods, but this is sort of odd sensation that there's just no, you know, there's no way into, onto land. You just, it's just your boat and you're out here. Are you guys gonna be too tired for the row back? No, no, we're just gonna be exhausted. Really? <laughs> okay. But here, here I want to sleep right now. <laughs> what do you think about me, James? It's too, it's too cold. It does make sense here to have a, some sort of greenhouse, tiny house, floating cabin because of the weather and the light it did. What you want here is light. If you have a sun room, you're here out in this little spot, you'll feel not only within the landscape, but you are going to like that sun you are getting. Now it's 10.30 in the morning and it's, it's getting yeah. warm. Despite the fact that you can just, uh, apparently you can open some things. You have to move the wood, you can open the window, but yeah. it's just a screen, I wouldn't bother. Ready? Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. Go get your shoes on. Come on. Let's get in the boats. We're supposed to be back there in a half an hour. We're going to make it a fast trip. We'll sleep tonight. You guys ready to go again? Shoes on, Nick? I can't go in the, in the one by myself. No, I'll do it. Well, then get out here. If you want it, get out here. Otherwise, Papa's hopping in. Where's the keys? Shimana, where's your key bag? In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Great. Yes. Okay, well, Nick, my first Mother travel. There is a mentality of the point to point travel. Got it. I'm getting in. Since the moment towns put a precise clock in the church, since that moment, there is a new path that has to be exact, has to be precise. That's the house. We check. Are we missing anything? Bye, house. See ya. Bye. And oh, we're gonna hit ya. You have to push us off. Careful. Bye, house. If you've never been able to just walk with no goal whatsoever, it's way down, way down. If you've never done that consistently, then you just don't understand the value of it. So that's one of the risks of modern life, I guess. See you there. You know where to go? I don't have the right map. Okay. That's what probably gets us to this mindset of let's try to get very efficient with this trip we are doing. So we need to get there. No matter how we get there, but we need to get there at this time. Yeah. The problem with planning ahead and doing that is that you are just closing windows and closing opportunities. Thanks, Nick. Are you really going? Closing your predisposition to sort of be open to your senses and to your inner wanderings. Dream, what's what? Okay. We're trying to go toward that island, so I guess I should probably start turning, right? 